here in Canada there's uh, not really an election campaign going on, but next year there will be an election, and the politicians have already started to attack each other. One Canadian politician, Justin Trudeau, the head of the Liberal Party of Canada, has come, on, come in for some rather harsh criticism, and by Canadian standards, um, unacceptably nasty uh, attacks. Um, recently, there's been this uh, tempest in a teapot, I guess, or in a teacup, <laughs> um, concerning his disavowal of airstrikes against ISIS in the Middle East should he become elected Prime Minister of Canada, which there is a possibility that that will happen. Um, ISIS, and common with the rest of the world, is not exactly popular in Canada. <laughs> uh, they're seen as, you know, I think everybody agrees, more or less the Khmer Rouge, the new Khmer Rouge. They're just vicious murderers um, that don't really understand their own faith, I guess, in the same way as, say, the Khmer Rouge didn't really grasp what communism really was, or even socialism or anything. To them, it was just kill the rich, or kill anybody who's educated, or something like that, whereas, you know, to ISIS, uh, Islam means shoot anybody, or kill anybody who is not a fanatical Wahhabist Muslim. Um, it's just an excuse to be vicious. But uh, Justin Trudeau has said that if I'm made Prime Minister, I will not uh, participate in airstrikes against, uh, against um, the, uh, the fighters of ISIS. Um, the attacks have gotten nasty. Some people have said uh, he's in league with the Nazis, essentially. Um, that ISIS being the new Nazis, which they're not, because they're not a menace to world peace the way that the Nazis were. I uh, compared them to the Khmer Rouge because the Khmer Rouge weren't a menace to anybody except maybe Vietnam and their own people. <laughs> um, if I were a Yazidi in Iraq or a Christian or a Shia Muslim in the region, I would be, I would consider uh, ISIS to be the worst thing on earth, but co comparing them to the Nazis in the global terms, no. So he's essentially being called an appeaser of something akin to the Nazis. Rubbish, of course, and there's been a bit of backlash against that kind of characterization of it. Um, but it's interesting. Uh, this business of ISIS being so bad and so horrible that anybody who isn't adamantly and violently, I guess, opposed to them is in league with the Nazis. Uh, it kind of brings to mind that, um, that aphorism by Nietzsche. When you're fighting demons or monsters, one should be careful not to become a monster. Um, when you stare into the abyss, the abyss stares back into you. You start from the presupposition that ISIS is evil. If any group on this planet can be called evil, I think it's fair to say that ISIS fits the bill. Um, therefore, anybody who isn't violently opposed to them is in league with evil, I guess. Now, let's say that we take that metaphor of being in league with the Nazis or being an appeaser or something like that. And uh, we say um, the Nazis are so bad that we have to be ruthless in, in dealing with them. And what does that say about somebody who refuses to be ruthless with them? Well, I kind of strikes me as though that person is quite evil. Really? Isn't that neat how the tables get turned there? Fighting ISIS is unarguably important, even for a Canadian politician. Therefore, if you don't want to participate in a war against them, uh, or you just want to abstain from it, you're essentially aiding and abetting evil. Suddenly, you're in the same category as ISIS. When you turn people into things like that, you've dehumanized them. Now, of course, 
federal politicians in Canada get dehumanized all the time. <laughs> uh, but this one, people think, is kind of going overboard. And they're sort of saying, uh, the, 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 the pundits are sort of saying, okay, some of our fellow pundits have gone a little bit too far. A Canadian senator actually got involved. Uh, basically playing the Nazi card against Justin Trudeau. That more or less just a, an illustration of how frightened the conservative government is of this guy. Because he's got, you know, he's got charisma, that sort of thing. He's got quite a name, if you're familiar with Canadian history, the Trudeau name. Sort of the royal family of Canada. Um, <clears throat> so they're scared of him. So they're trying to attack him. They're trying to make him look like a bad guy really stupid ham-fisted stuff, but that's politics for you. Uh, the Nazi thing is different. Um, and in a sense, people are saying that, you know, you've dehumanized a politician and sort of said that it's essentially open season on him. Because anybody who isn't adamantly opposed to ISIS and willing to put, you know, Canadian soldiers uh, where their mouth is, a Canadian aircraft, I guess, however many we've got, not very many, I bet. Um, if, they're not, if you're not willing to go against ISIS and, you know, engage militarily, then you're essentially aiding and abetting Hitler. Um, dehumanization. It's the same kind of thing that one sees, say, at the Salem Witch Trials or, you know, the Torquemada, or even the... Uh, great purge in Stalin's Soviet Union. If you are not fanatically opposed to capitalism, you are a capitalist. And since capitalism is the most evil thing on earth, um, you must be treated as an evil thing. Um, when suffering or harm or damage become sort of the epitome of evil, I guess. It drags us into that territory where evil, if we want to call it evil, holds sway. You either fight that hellish thing, or you're part of it and part of the problem. Therefore, we must fight you. <laughs> Oops, the camera's there. But, um... <clears throat> It's an interesting way that this plays out all the time. The, the, the issues of negative utilitarianism, demonization, uh, fighting bad things. How do you deal with that which you, from which you recoil in horror? Like, nobody's saying that ISIS is nice. Uh, nobody's saying that they're anything less than shocking, horrifically shocking, uh, probably only fit to be attacked from the air. I certainly, I'm, I'm a pacifist, but, or I have pacifist leanings, I guess, uh, but I would be, I, I wouldn't shed many tears if a few of those guys got hit by a few bunker busters, or if they were completely obliterated and all of them were killed. But let's say that I'm opposed to Canada's participation. Does that mean that I have thus afforded somebody the right to judge me as being in league with these people. If you're not against them, you're for them? I don't think so. 